Hey guys, good morning. It's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Wednesday, December 29th. Today also I need to work out and I kind of feel like I need this workout more than usual. Um, yeah, so today is Wednesday, December 29th and I haven't shared it here on the channel, but my father-in-law recently passed away and today is his Today is his today is his home go, today is his home going service and I yeah so today is December 29th today is weigh in Wednesday if you hear just for the weigh in I'll be sure to put the timestamp here but today is also a difficult day for me which is even more of a reason why I need to film this workout in a way of holding myself accountable. I told you guys I will be transparent here on this journey. And like today, I haven't shared it here on the channel, um, but my father-in-law recently passed away. And today is his home going service, so. There's a lot that I want to say and share with you guys. So what I think I may do is actually um, do the workout and then do a voiceover. And that way I'm not crying the whole time and I can edit as much as I need to. So, okay. So let me share with you what we're doing for today's workout. So this is what I have planned for today's workout. I don't know if I'll get through all of it, but it is my goal for today. So I'll just take you guys along with me. First, I'm gonna do a 10 minute warm up, And then after that, with each, or each exercise, I'll be doing a one minute slash 60 second sprint. Let's get into the workout. I'll do a voiceover. Hey guys, thank you so much for being patient with me. I am now recording this voiceover the morning after the service. Um, as much as I want my channel and my brand to be a place of hope, pure joy and happiness, I also don't buy into toxic positivity. Toxic positivity is basically when like happiness is overly generalized. It's like this optimistic state that results in like the denial and minimization and invalidation of the true authentic human emotional experience some signs of toxic positivity may include like dismissing or stuffing your feelings or emotions just to kind of get over it um some of the signs may include like hiding or masking your true feelings um, other examples includes like minimizing other people's feelings, feelings and like just kind of like generalizing things like, you know, well, it gets better when time goes on. Just little quotes that really are not helpful, but people tend to think they are. Other examples include feeling guilty for the feelings that you feel. 
such as grief or, you know, any of those other feelings. Um, When you shame others or like when you shame others for expressing anything other than happiness, like if they're frustrated or, you know, even experiencing like anger during grief, that can be a sign of toxic positive toxic positivity. Um, when we brush things off, like a lot of times we'll say, well, it is what it is, you know, just to kind of like move on. Or even sometimes we'll dismiss other people's feelings by saying things like, well, you know, if you think about it, like it could be worse, you know, like those are all signs of toxic positivity. And I just truly feel that, you know, I am an incredibly happy person. Like, I believe that I was just born with an incredible spirit of joy that was not only given like to serve me, but also those around me. I mean, heck, my parents even named me Felicia, which I mean, the name in itself means happiness. But you know what? Sometimes things happen in life that really hurt. And losing my father-in-law is one of them. My husband and his siblings, they had the best daddy in the world. My father-in-law was the original Superman. He lived out his values of faith and family first. He was a jack of all trades. He was a provider, a protector. For the first few years of our marriage, he would pull me aside at least once a month to ask how my husband was doing how he was performing as a husband. How's he doing, he would ask. My father-in-law was a wise counsel when it came to marriage, faith, crops, literally anything. He passed away at 82, but literally at the beginning of this year, he was still doing and fixing things around my home. He was still pulling weeds from our yard. He was a man that if he saw something that needed to be done, he just did it. My father-in-law also had the best jokes. For one of his birthdays, we took him out to eat. He loved, but he rarely had fried chicken. I noticed that he was kind of picking over it a little bit. So I asked him, I was like, Dad, how's your chicken? (laughs) He looked at me as if he'd been thinking about it for a while. And then he replies, man, this chicken tastes older than me. (laughs) Basically meaning that they had overcooked the chicken and he wanted no parts of it. At his service on yesterday, literally everyone spoke so highly of him. They spoke of how he loved his family, how he took pride in his community, and how he helped anyone that he could. My daughter and I share stories of the times he would slip us cash. He always told me not to tell my husband, but if I did, to be sure that he knew it was my money and not bill money. (laughs) At his service, others share similar stories of how he also helped them out financially. My father-in-law was a rich man and there's no inheritance, but he was a wealthy man. He was wealthy in spirit and in health up until a few months ago. My father-in-law has left a legacy. You know, we all have big shoes to fill. He honored his body. He ate well and in moderation. He remained active. He kept his weight down. He didn't complain much. He was definitely an action taker. He avoided debt. He took care of the things and the people that he loved. These are just a few areas in where I want to be just like him. My father-in-law, he lived out Matthew 22, 37 through 39, where Jesus replied, Love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
Thank you guys for allowing me to share a little bit about our original Superman. Okay, let's move into this week's weigh-in. So, I weighed in on Monday at 227.8. This is a gain of 1.4 pounds from last week. But, I'm not surprised. I know that a lot of it is water weight from the increase in holiday foods, such as that artichoke dip I told you guys about, as well as some indulging on portion sizes from, you know, just the days following Christmas. But I know that I'll be able to get this back off. I know that I'll be able to get back on track in no time. This puts me at a total of 32.2 pounds. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today during this workout and allowing me to share a little bit of my heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!